That means he's a poor teacher. And you know something? You know something? Ask Mr. Hussein. Is Ramesh who put it to the She was in line. And she came last in the election, you know. And Ramesh begged Pandey to give her a chance. He's a lady. She articulated. Today she, today she fighting Ramesh. Good for you. And Kamala, I said, a shame. It's an embarrassment. I know something. Kamala is one for whom Mr. Pandey has no respect, absolutely no respect. Mr. Pandey has no respect for Kamala whatsoever. I don't have time tonight to give all the examples, but I'll give it to you next time. But Kamala will not even tell the Excellency, Sir, I'm sorry. I owed, I made a mistake. What manner of woman is this? Uh, a drunk woman! I want this entire country to know. Listen, good you know, I want you all to know it's the second time Kamala has compromised the office of the president. The second time. The first time was during the 1818 election when she went to Ada, Ada Robinson and tell him if he made Pandey president, she will see, she will ensure that he and her gets a second term. Kamala went to the president house and tell President Ian Robinson that if he gives Pandey the prime ministership, she will ensure that he Ian gets a second term. What a shame. That's Kamala. My people, tonight I tell you, tonight I tell you that things must be done differently. The UNCA leaders, Basile, Pange, Kamala, Basan, and others, instead of trying to silence us, instead of trying to silence the voices on this platform, they must join us. This country of ours is falling to pieces while we continue to fight among ourselves and while we waste our resources on disappearing matters rather than expose money's government's corruption for what it is. We waste time. We fight among ourselves. And the real enemy is money. And all must be laughing at us. My people, the platform for change, this platform will never be silenced. This platform for change is here to stay. To stay. They could do what they want. They could do what they want. They could bind us to Siberia. This is here to stay until this party reforms itself. Our people are fed up of opposition politics. They are hurting. The only way we can affect change in government, the only way that we can be ready for when the bells toll is if we reform the party from within. The only way we can be assured of winning at the next polls is to put our house in order for a change, let our party and our country come before self. For a change, let us do the right thing between the party and let our people decide. My dear friends, for a change, for a change, for the first time, let this party be accountable to the people, to the members, who election after election have given us their trust, their confidence, their vote and their support. For a change, therefore, let us try to get out of opposition. It has to begin with a love for the people we serve. If we love our people, if we serve our people, our aim in life must be to be in government. And if we aspire to be in government, we can insult our constituents and expect to win their vote. We can, we, we can in no way, in no way, alienate our people and expect to be the first past the post. Acrimony and pain must be a thing of the past. And the focus, the, the focus must not be on personalities, but on issues that challenge us. My people, we need change. The UNCA, when it speaks, 
must be the voice of the people, not of Pastor Pande, Subas, and the killer. My dear friends, the UNTA must have the moral authority backed by practice to agitate for the good of the people. The party must be the only alternative to govern the people of this country. In our present structure, to govern would be a madman to even want to talk to any of us. In our present structure, we are embarrassing ourselves. And until our party embarks on the path of change, our voices, our voices and yours will not remain silent. And before I end, in this era of Spike Two, I do wish to advise the public that I have agreed to establish in the Shabonas West constituency a unit to assist with the spread of public information on the swine flu, especially in light of the absence of such a program by the government. The unit would get information from official WHO websites and through medical practitioners locally. Flyers shall be produced and an army of volunteers will be used to assist in their distribution in Shogunas West, but in the whole country as a whole. Because swine flu is serious business. My dear friends, we shall have radio bulletins to assist us in this campaign. A website will be designed within 72 hours and a hotline established for you to call Hotline in Mayaro, Hotline in Tabaki, Hotline in Shogunas West. In Gouverneur, any hotline? Any Gouverneur? Are you so crazy? I will launch this unit as early as Sunday morning at the Shogunas West constituency office, Nampos 13 at Karim Savannah Road, Shogunas at 10.30 a.m. A doctor will be on hand to assist with medical queries. As I am, let me tell you that the UNCA is basically a Hindu party. And Hinduism is a serious religion. Hinduism, in the eyes of God, in Hinduism, there is no divorce. In the eyes of God, in Hinduism, there is no divorce. I am divorcing the UNC at all. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I am more Hindu than any Hindu in the UNC. And though I am a man, though I am a man, I will put some sinew on my forehead. I ain't going nowhere. Because this party doesn't belong to Bas Nepal. Doesn't belong to Subash. Doesn't belong to Mekhila. Don't belong to Canada. This party belongs to all of us. And I tell you, Ramis, Gypsy, and I are leaving. My dear friends, I want to tell you, we receive calls every day. Every day, calls and telexes um, and text messages. Every day, far and wide, people asking us to come and talk to them about change. We are printing next week, Friday, 20,000 copies of a manifesto for change. To get your point of view, it's coming to you. You tell us, this is good, that is bad. And then, when you finish and get it back, we have the final copy. But we are putting 20,000 copies. We are putting a four-page pullout in newspapers. Make sure you get your copy and tell us what your thoughts are on the manifesto for change. You will see democracy as you have never seen before in this party. And I tell you, in that way, we shall begin to create a new era, a new dawn in this party. I say therefore to you that we are prepared to go as far as Tobago. Tobago called us this morning. And we told Tobago that we shall be there because Tobago is a part of this country too. And you can have a national party and leave Tobago out. So Tobago will be coming. But before Tobago, before Tobago, you're going to Faisabad. 
Our next meeting, therefore, shall be Pfizer. I say to all of you, therefore, good night and have a safe journey home. Yeah.